bit nervous. Is that okay? A little bit. Good to see you, bit. my friend. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and, and let me just start out this with a, with a congratulations. If, well, maybe you've been watching QBC for a while or maybe not, you may not know. This book has taken off like never wow. before. 156,000 of them have been pre-ordered already. Is it's that right? It's just such a blessing and so incredible. Thank you, first of all, for all your support of this project. This has been such a, an exciting book to write because this is the third book I've written. And I really think this one is the best one because it really addresses home cooks where they are and how they cook. This is 110 recipes. Every one is 10 ingredients or less. Mm. Every recipe has a full page color photo. You told me over the years what you love in a cookbook. You love to have a recipe or a photo with every recipe. You love less ingredients. You also love what I call supermarket shortcuts, prepackaged ingredients uh -huh. that help you get to the finish line faster. I'm not cutting any quality or taste out of these recipes. I'm just cutting some time away. Maybe not everything has to be done from scratch, in other words. Correct. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So we've got some really great things to show you. Okay. There are uh, loads of chapters, including one chapter just on air frying. Because we've sold so many air fryers but on PVC. But you don't have to have the actual appliance in order to make some of these recipes. Exactly. Yeah. I have a handful of recipes in the book that call for a pressure cooker or a slow cooker. You don't have to um, uh, have those appliances to cook from this book, Wonderful. which is great. We're going to begin with buffalo chicken meatballs. Buffalo chicken meatballs. You like buffalo chicken? I I'm here to eat everything. All right, perfect. I'm going for So it. these buffalo chicken meatballs are so easy. What's uh, The trick to this is letting them simmer in their sauce. Uh -huh. Because that way they draw in all that flavor. And the sauce comes from a jar of buffalo... Um, uh, buffalo dressing or buffalo sauce. Okay, great. And then you dip it in some thousand iron. I've got one back here for you. Okay, very good. Here we go. Grab that one. Do I do the dip in two? You can do that as well. And what's nice about this is that the, the meatballs you make from scratch, but the uh, the buffalo sauce is one you buy in the grocery store. Mm. So it's faster and you get flavor all the way through the meatball because oh, they do. Because they soak in the sauce, right? Oh, they absolutely do. And they simmer in the sauce. So it works out really nicely that way. Now, there's 110 <laughs> recipes, right? Correct. 110 recipes. Um, and all, like you mentioned, 10 ingredients or less. So again, these can be simple. Simple and still a lot of comfort foods here. Exactly. Well, right? Now, I know you love fish. This is something I think a lot of people are going to love. Cod is a really uh, palatable white fish. Great. I cook these in the oven in little tin foil boats and you use a jarred pesto sauce. Uh -huh. So that's your shortcut. You throw in some fresh vegetables and you've got a really delicious meal that cooks in record time and you are not going to be spending hours in the kitchen to pull this off. We're definitely going to want to, I'm going to want to eat some more food. <coughs> Let's also clarify a couple things. This is the advanced order price. So it, it really pays to get it right now, save the money, use the two easy payments, and that two easy payments will not be billed until it's shipped. Correct. And that's in November. So a lot of people picking them up more than one right now, one for yourself, and it makes a great gift, dare I say. Well, and we wanted to make sure that it was available in plenty of time for holiday gift giving. And so this is exactly what's happening. All this will ship out on 11-27, November 27th. So you have it in plenty of time to plan your holiday meals or give them as gifts. Now, Rick, I have mac and cheese in every one of my cookbooks. Yes, yeah, I'm sure it's you do. the most perfect food <laughs> in the world, in my mind. So, so what did you do that was new? Well, first of all, I cooked it in six minutes. Ah! Six minutes okay. from dry pasta in the pressure cooker. A shortcut? Put your your milk and your evaporated milk and whatnot in. But then what I did before, uh, after I put my cheeses in, I put some cooked bacon inside mm -hmm. and a packet of ranch salad dressing seasoning mix. All right. Now, if you don't Simple. love ranch and, and bacon, you can substitute cooked lobster or vegetables if you like. Grab yourself a spoon. I will. I want you to try this. Because I think I this, will. You can't make mac and cheese from a box this fast. This is six minutes in the pressure cooker. Six minutes. Six minutes. Bacon and simple ingredients and... Creamy, melty, deliciousness. Delicious. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. If there's one thing I've known about this guy over the years, I've been here 24, you've been here 25. Yep. The guy knows how to make mac and cheese. <laughs> I make it fantastic. So it's you'll fun. love that. And it's new and really, really easy to do. That's, that's absolutely delicious. Now, you love Brussels sprouts. I don't love Brussels sprouts. I do like Brussels sprouts. So I wanted to come up with a recipe that I could even like. Yeah. And I use the air fryer. You take your fresh Brussels sprouts, you cut them in half, you air fry them for about 15 minutes. Okay. Now, the sauce is where this takes a shortcut. I see. I buy sriracha hot sauce. Which has a little punch to it, right? But then I take all the heat out because I, I cut it with apricot jam. You keep, oh really? So, you so keep it's a little the sweet. Flavor. Yes. And well, I that's eliminate really interesting. the heat. And you get a little bit of that crispy from the air fryer. Tell me what you think. Well, I've never had Brussels sprouts like that before. Isn't that nice? Wow, that's really. It takes away all of the, thank you. It wow, that away... sauce is amazing. It takes away that all sauce, of the what bitterness. What is that? Apricot, apricot and Apricot jam and sriracha hot sauce. Oh, that's incredible. Isn't that fun? And it takes all the bitter aftertaste away from the Brussels sprouts. And I just had a second bite of my Brussels sprouts. And I'll yeah. tell you what, they're amazing. If you love chicken carbonara, and I think most of us do, that's we true. know that the big challenge with carbonara is working with the egg and making sure that it does not scramble when you add the hot pasta to it, right? I don't have any egg in this carbonara. 
I substituted the egg with mascarpone cheese. Huh. So the mascarpone cheese binds it, and then you don't, you don't have that egg to worry with and fuss with, and I use rotisserie chicken to make this faster. Isn't with, that fun? With 700 people shopping, Sharon, come on in. One, Join us. One I'm little fascinated bite. by the carbonara because that's one of my favorite things to order at a restaurant. And yeah, so we'll have you try that. Is difficult. But let me ask you about yeah, your wait. little ones. Yeah. Do your little ones love French toast? Yeah. Yeah. Would they love French toast sticks? Uh, yeah, yeah. And what if you could make them at home and not have to buy them frozen in the grocery store? Mm, and I could be in control of my ingredients, maybe? Exactly. Now, you're going to buy Texas toast to make these. You're going to cut them into little planks, but then you're going to you're going to uh, crush up some honey bunches of oat cereal. What? You're going to coat it in that along with some egg, and then you can always dip it in some cinnamon butter dip. Oh, I have wait. Some right, some right here. here. Oh. If you'd like to add you some go cinnamon dipping. butter dip. All right. Go a little dipping. Try the cinnamon, cinnamon butter, dip butter in dip. Hold mm -hmm. on a second. And so what this does, and that's uh, what it does, Ooh. is it adds a little cinnamony kick to it. Mm -hmm. If you want to add a little syrup to these, or just wrap some in, in wax paper and send them out the door to the school bus. And this is amazing, and this is crispier, actually. And you and and you're going to uh, and you're going to pan uh, saute these in mm -hmm. a little butter. And then hit it with the cinnamon butter dip. My kids just went back to school. This is going to make their day. <laughs> with over 2,000 people on the line right now picking this Thank up. Thank you, gentlemen. So uh, Thank David, you. give me some, some of, the, some of the, the, the basics of what you wanted to do in this again. The shortcuts. Well, again. Gen recipes. Didn't you do something with the, the font and make it easier to look at? We sure did. Our customers told us loud and clear they wanted bigger font and they wanted darker font. <laughs> That's great. I'll take book. it. So we did both, right? <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm getting older just like the rest of us. So I need a bigger print and I need darker print. That's so great. you're going to be able to read this better. If you're wondering why, I, oh, and here's a little look inside. We were Valerie Bertinelli wrote my forward. Wonderful. So she's awesome. There's our Stacy who works on our show in the kitchen with David. Indeed. Every chapter has a photo for its chapter opener. There are the buffalo chicken meatballs. These, this is the actual photography from the book. So we wanted to give you a little sneak peek at some of the fun pictures inside the book. That's panzanella bread salad, Italian bread salad. That's Salisbury steak. Oh, it looks make. so good. And this is Asian barbecue chicken thighs. Then, of course, you've got uh, pork schnitzel. These are butternut squash cubes with fresh sage. Wow. Then there's a noodles and more noodles chapter. That's Yaka, Maine. It's called Old Sober in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You eat that after a night of partying. <laughs> Some uh, steamed mussels. Lots of fun photos in the book. Every photo, oh, that's cake batter milkshake, Black Forest. Now that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And then the air frying chapter, these are sure. empanadas, all kinds of fun things. And the best thing about the book is that every recipe is easy. Every recipe is accessible. But please don't think we have a finished book. We don't. Our book is blank. Uh -huh. Because the, all the recipes are done. I just finished the final manuscript last week. Wow. So the book is in layout and design now at Random House. Hot off the press, huh? And then it'll ship out on November 27th. So we're going to get one when you get one. So that's going to be exciting. How about... As you're shopping right now, use automated ordering, by the way. We're kind of busy on traditional phone lines. Use a QVC app. He's back. 156. That, no, how would it be 158,000? Is that right? Wow. Uh, so if you'd like to do it, go for it. You know, one of the things that you've talked about, because <clears throat> I presented your book, the last one, which is how many, how long ago was that? Uh, uh, four years ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Was it four years it ago? It was four years ago. David, as you, also, you also point out the team that it takes to make something like this happen. Oh, it's a village. And, Are you and this kidding? is an incredible organization. My face is on the book, and the, my name is in the show title, but, but that is no, by no means uh, any indication that I'm the only one doing the work. There's a, a, a very dedicated In the Kitchen team That's that great. makes all of our uh, recipes come to life, our show uh, come to life. Go. This is the tasting and the testing. There you go. We spent <laughs> weeks and weeks in Are the Are you okay with kitchen. the testing part of it? That was with my the, favorite part. Yeah, Are you kidding? Like, <laughs> and then all the photography in New York. We worked the very oh, talented that's, photographer that's in New so York. That's so cool. That's microwave peanut brittle. It cooks in 15, uh, excuse me, seven minutes in the mm. microwave. Mexican pizza stack. This was at the cover shoot when we were uh, shooting the cover for the cookbook. Just unbelievable team effort. That well, this it's an, un an unbelievable team effort and an unbelievable response to that team effort as well. It's exciting. 158,000 ordered now, pre ordered. Get it at the advance order price. Get it, save it, and you're not even going to be billed until it's shipped. You can use two easy payments when it's shipped. It's an incredible gift. And what have we got when they first get it? Uh, that might be around November or comfort food around the winter. Well, time. this one's going to be perfect. This yeah. is pulled pork barbecue casserole with a cornbread topping. It's oh, basically, man. It's a barbecue casserole right. like a shepherd's pie, but you use oh, my a, an instant corn Oh, my mix. heavens. That's my favorite. And then you use pre made, pre shredded barbecue you buy in the grocery store. Then you add some fresh vegetables to it, you doctor it up, and you make this fantastic kind of shepherd's pie. Am, 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 am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to dance? Am I supposed to move? <laughs> you can do this? that. And one thing um, I want you to taste before great, we wrap man. up, slow cooker chocolate cake with peanut butter chips. Slow cooker chocolate cake with peanut like butter chips. This is like a pudding chips. cake. That's going to be the end. And, and this a little, is a pudding dessert. cake that cooks 
in your slow cooker. Uh oh, Sharon was off. Sharon, She's back. come back, She's my back. darling. This is for you, Sharon. Here we go. We're gonna Sharon. wind up with this. Okay. This is I'll the get chocolate a spoon pudding or a cake. Fork, whatever you I'll want. Get a fork. Grab a fork. That's for you. And this is a moist, a delicious, cake. fantastic. Oh my gosh, pudding this cake. texture! This it's is crazy. Gonna, it's gonna be total pudding cake. Because a, these are our foodies oh who are watching gosh. our gourmet holiday. How many ingredients in every recipe? Ten or less. You know, some oh some ingredients. God. I have a tro chocolate truffle recipe in the book. Four ingredients. Mm. Wow. Four ingredients. How, how's that chocolate pudding cake? This is like nothing wow. I've ever had. Before. Right? We're winding up. And yet. the one on the far end is taco soup on a cold fall or winter night. We got to wrap this really up. Easy. Sharon, Woo! Thank, you, David, thank you so much. Thank David. you, guys. It was great being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, a lot of fun. More to come. David, by the way, hanging out at midnight, kicking up a brand new today.